Hey, I'm Orsi and this is the episode 12 about creating a multiplayer game in Not Chess. So if you haven't watched the last episode, then I would highly recommend you to do so by clicking the annotation on the screen. So in this video, what I'm planning to do is to revamp the graphics a little bit, so add images. So there will be a map, there will be an image for bullet, there will be an image for the player. And I'm also gonna make it so um, the client is aware of who he is. So we will be able to display the player score on the top left. So that's what's planned for this episode. So the first thing I'm going to do is add new images to our project. So under client image, I added bat, a map and a player. You will be able to download um, the entire project on my website, brainchain.com. The link will be in the description. So those are the three things I've added. The bullet was already there. And um, yeah, let's get into it. So I will assume in this video that you know how to draw images in JavaScript. If you don't, then I would recommend you to click the annotation on the screen to go check out my single player series um, where I talk about how to draw images. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is add a container for the images. So um, image, player, bullet, map. It's exactly the same than in my other tutorial. Um, now for the path, for the, the, the source of the image. It needs to be slash tan slash image slash plier. So all it works is that we will do a query to our server with that URL. This will go over here. It will say, is the query empty? Um, in our case, it will not match this. Is the query, does this query starts with um, client? In our case, yes. And what it's gonna do, this over here, what it says is just return whatever the query was inside the client folder. I've already covered that a little bit in the first few episodes of this series, but just a, a little reminder. So it, it must be under the client folder. So if you try to put it in a, another folder, it's not going to work. So client image. Player. So now that we have this, we can modify the draw function of the player a little bit. So the HP bar over here, uh, one thing I'm going to change is the fill style will be red. So the HP bar of players will be red. Um, this is the player itself. This is its score. Um, for now, we will no longer draw the score of the player above him. And instead, we will draw the actual player. So this is the code to draw the image with the image. So we want this width for the image. We want this height. We specify the image. Um, we crop the image, but th this will take the full image. And we want to draw it at self minus width divided by two. So the center um, of the image is on self x and we want the, the, the size to display size to be width and height. So we, we are enlarging the image by a two factor. So the image is bigger than the original. Um, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to do exactly the same for the bullet. Um, for the bullet, it's going to be the size divided by two. So a little bit tinier. And now for the map, what we are going to do is create a new function called draw map. And for now, it's going to be really basic. We're just going to draw the map image at top zero, zero. And it's going to be static. Maybe eventually we will change it so it moves around. But for now, just draw the map. Um, so this function is not called right now. So what we are going to do is that we clear the canvas. We um, draw the map. Then we draw the player on top of it. If you draw the map at the end, um, the player will be hidden by the map. So the map needs to be above them. It's exactly like the, the single player tutorial. So map, then the player, then the bullet. Okay, so let's test uh, what we have done. So as usual, you want to start the database with uh, MongoD. So don't forget to do that. Otherwise, you won't be able to log in. Then you start the server with not apps.js. Go here. Log in and there we go. So as you can see, there's an actual real map now and there's our player and we can shoot actual bullet. So the game looks way better than it used to be in a few couple lines. So far, all the changes have been done on the client side, but if we want to display the score of the player, we'll need to modify a little bit the, the server. And the reason is right now the client has no clue about what character he is controlling. Um, what we send is just a list of player. We don't specify, hey, you are this player over here. And in order to display the score, we will need to um, do that. So what we will do is on the server side over here, when the player connects, we will send the list of all the players currently online, the list of all the bullets currently online, but we will also add something called the self ID. 
that will be equal to the socket ID. So we send a list of player, we say, hey, you are the player with that particular self ID. So on the client side, we'll be able to, to know which player object is referring to the player control. So we do this over here and on the, the client side, we'll add a new variable that will be called um, self self ID. By default, it will be null. And when we will receive an init package from the server, if that init package contain information about the self ID, then self ID will be equal to data self ID. There we go. And with that, what we can do is we can do player list um, the self ID. And this will be equal to the player we are controlling. Normally, this is like a random number. But if we do self ID, then this is the player we are controlling. And this is very handy. Um, what we are going to do is in the draw loop, we're actually going to add a new draw. It will be draw score. And what this will do is that it will simply draw the score um, in white. So, so in white, we will draw the score of the player with the self ID. So ourselves. And we will draw it at uh, that position, for example. And we're going to call that right after the draw. So let's reset the server and check how the game looks so far. So there we go. We can see the zero at the top left. If I connect with another account, there we go. So if I kill this one, it will say plus one on my screen. If I kill this one. And as you can see, it's working. There we go. So what I want to do next is to make it so the player always appear in the middle of the screen. And if it moves, it's actually the maps that moves instead of the player. And right now, there's also a little error over here. If you press F12 and go to the console, um, you will see that there is a bunch of a cannot read property, uh, property score of undefined. And this is because um, let's say that you you haven't logged into the game, you're just in the waiting menu. This function is still going to be called. Even if you're not logged in, this function is called, score is called, and this over here will fail because um, self ID is only um, set after receiving the init package. So what I'm going to do is that if we haven't received the init package, so if init package is not a value, then we're going to return. So basically, until we receive a init package, we will not draw the map and draw the player and stuff like that. Okay, so now in order to draw the bullets relative to the player, we'll need to do um, this over here. So the logic is exactly the same than in the single player tutorial series. So it's the position minus the player plus half of the screen. Um, so this over here, I'm going to create a constant for the, the width and the height. So you always want to create constant for that kind of stuff. So it's easy to, to change it later on. So there we go. So this is the new X, the new Y. So we use that in self instead of self here. And we're going to do exactly the same, but for the player. There we go. Okay, so actually, we also want to move the H bar. So this goes here and the H bar also use the relative X and Y. Now for the map, um, the draw map over here, um, the x position will be equal to the width divided by two minus player with self id x, and same for the y. So once again, I've covered that in the single player tutorial. There we go. So let's just save and check how it looks. Okay, seems to be working. So as you can see, I can shoot, I can move around, and yeah, all good. So I guess that will be pretty much it for um, this video. I hope you liked it, and um, don't forget to click the annotation on the screen to go check out the next episode. So, see ya.